Hi, welcome to the podcast for When the Curves Line Up for February 18, 2024, featuring the gibbous moon between the bull's horns. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 6.43 a.m. Central Standard Time followed by sunset at 5.27 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky. Brilliant Venus is low in the east-southeast before sunrise. At 45 minutes before sunup, the planet is less than 5 degrees above the horizon. At this altitude, height above the horizon, stars and planets are blurred and dimmed by the atmosphere to a point a binocular is needed to see them. Like the sun and moon, Venus shines through this thick layer of air. At this hour, the bright star Altair is nearly one-third of the way from the horizon to overhead, to Venus' upper left. As the eighth brightest star for Northern Hemisphere sky watchers, the star is less than 20 light-years away. It shines with a brightness of about 10 suns. The morning star steps eastward in front of Capricornus and it closes a gap to Mars. At 30 minutes before sunrise, use a binocular to spot the red planet 1.9 degrees to Venus' lower left. Mercury reaches superior conjunction in 10 days. It rises a few minutes before the sun and hides in bright sunlight. In the evening sky, Saturn sets during evening twilight on its way to conjunction on the 28th. About an hour after sundown, the gibbous moon, 74% illuminated, is high in the southeastern sky. With this level of moonlight, dimmer stars are challenging to see. Using a binocular or standing in the shadow of a building improves the view. The moon is between the bull's horns, Elnath, and Zeta Turi, a precarious place to be. Elnath is 5.9 degrees to the moon's upper right, while Zeta Turi is 7.7 degrees to the lower right. The bull's head is outlined by a letter V made by Aldebaran, Taurus' brightest star, and the Hyades star cluster. The Pleiades star cluster seems to be riding on the bovine's back. The star Capella, the fourth brightest star visible from the mid-northern latitudes, is about 20 degrees above the moon. The star's name means the little she-goat. It is less than 50 light-years away and shines with a brightness of over 130 suns. Capella is about the same temperature as the sun and has nearly the same color. Look at the star through a binocular to note its sun-like hue. This evening, Jupiter is over halfway up in the southwest after sundown. The planet moves eastward in front of Aries. It approaches an imaginary line from Hamel to Menkar. The Jovian giant sets in the west-northwest before midnight. Early risers or night owls can see the moon before it sets in the west-northwest more than two hours before daybreak tomorrow morning. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.